we're gonna make um, a windmill out of champagne corks. Yes? So what you need is one cork, three tops, oh, four tops from the champagne cork. These guys came up from there. And three pieces of wire. And the tools we need are so going to use a block of wood to work on, an awl, a hammer, needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and tin snips, and a glue gun. You grab one of these guys and remove the wire from the base. And you want to save these wires because we're going to use them. These wires become the axle. Mm -hmm. call those things. Uh, right? And then you want to straighten out these wires. Uh, you straighten out the wires. Right? And you repeat the process for the other two pieces. Right. All three pieces. Oh, you, yeah. And we're gonna need one of these. These two we're not gonna use. Right. So next step is we're gonna unwind these a little bit so that it fits over the base of this cork. All right. Right now it's too too small. Use a plier. Unwind a little bit. All right. Take your cork. Fit it in there. And then rewind it. To secure it in place. And, and this forms uh, a base to make this stable. So it doesn't blow over. That's really all it's doing. Okay. okay, so we're going to take two of these guys and punch holes in the middle. One is going to be used on the top of the cork to create a, a flat surface, a smooth surface, and the other will be the rotor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Then we flatten these guys out. I'm simply using this to hold so I don't hit my fingers. That's all. Do the same here, the two? Yeah. Flattened out, flattened out uh, champagne tops. One of them has a hole in the middle. Take one of them and we're going to make two holes on the edges. This will be the tail end. Okay. Okay, next, take the flattened piece with a hole in it and cut it. This will be the rotor, right? So we're trying to make something like that. Do you want to the other side of this, you say? Right. Uh, where is it? Okay. I make first four cuts and then I split each of them again. And 
this becomes our rotor. Three flattened tops, one's been cut for the propeller, one has two holes in it for the tailpiece, and the third one we're gonna cut a strip out to make uh, three washers, one to use on the front here, one on the back, and one on the top. So I cut out a strip down the middle. Punch three holes. them out to make three little washes. Okay, and then I cut off some of the sharp points in these guys so they don't hook on the turbine, I mean the propeller blades. Even if you just make them smaller, it's So our three bottle tops turned into a propeller, a tail vane, and three washers. We're gonna play with these wires. All right, I find a. So if you look at these wires on the ends, this is where the the wire was wound. So it's a little rough on the edge. The next section is kind of smooth. So I'm gonna cut off this rough edge and put it aside. Right, and I'm going to use this as sort of the form over which to coil one of these guys. Right, so if I take these guys, so what I'm making now is this, this, I don't know what you call it, shaft, beam, axle? Spinning axle. The spinning axle over here. And the way I did that was over the smooth section. How do you know, how do you know where the center is? I uh, just guesstimate where the center is. <laughs> and twist it around three times or four times and then I use the needle nose plier to squish them together and I make sure that it spins freely that it's not hooking okay so this was over here right so this was the, the wire, the smooth part of the wire that we used to wrap our coil. We're going to use this as the pin that we'll stick in the top of our cork. So I cut off the piece. And using your plier to hold it, push it into the top of... Actually, I didn't put glue on here, did I? hot glue this cap that had the hole in, onto the top over here so it doesn't come loose All right and then using our smooth piece of wire we're gonna push it into the top and our coil is gonna fit over the top like so all it needs is the propeller and the tailpiece. Okay, I'm gonna straighten this out a little bit because it looks all kind of wonky. So first we're gonna mount the uh, tailpiece. <laughs> I actually bend it a little bit to make it easier to thread the wire through first. flatten it out after right but when you do this you want to make sure that the the orientation um, of this tailpiece is parallel to your coils 
That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we want to put our uh, propeller on. First, we'll take a washer with the pointy end uh, towards the coils. Let's see. There we go. Our rotor. And another washer. I'm going to use the smaller one with the pointy end away from the propeller. Like so. So now we want to figure out the distance to place the, uh, fr from the center that you want to place the uh, tailpiece and the rotor so that it sort of balances out. It's not lopsided either one way or the other way. And at and when we figure that out, then we hot glue the washers in place. So right now, the, this is too too far out. So let's move it on, move it in a little bit. Excess wire off in here. about balanced right it's stopping, something stopping from turning okay so once you got it somewhat balanced you use a hot uh, hot glue to glue the washers in place I start with the inner one and you just want a tiny amount sort of dry flat so the the washer is sort of flat not at an angle Does that make sense mm -hmm. you might have to hold it like this for a few seconds till it dries well more like a minute or two <laughs> and once the glue starts drying it sort of becomes opaque you can flip it over and Put a little glue on the other side washer. Oh. Okay, I got some glue on the, on the blades there again to give it a little space so there's enough space for the rotor to uh, and the propeller to turn. Straighten this out a little bit and put a drop of glue over here to keep this in place. Next, I'm gonna take the last washer we made and put it on the top. And this is simply to make sure that the whole thing doesn't come off. <laughs> it's supposed to just turn into the wind. Okay, good. And then 